Hello guys, welcome to FM 2023. In this video, we are going to check Wolves. I will show you the best tactic players that you should be able to sign, and we are going to check all the players. So let's go. So when we are speaking about tactic, I would play in formation 4-2-3-1, and this would be my first team. On the goal sweeper keeper, we don't have better option than Jose Sa. He is okay goalkeeper, fantastic reflexes. Okay, in front of him, pair of central defenders. That's Max Kilman, uh, probably our best central defender, ball playing defender, and Collins. Collins can't play as a ball playing defender i mean uh, with this uh, technical attributes he can't be a ball playing defender that's for sure and this is the worst part of wolves if you're asking me we don't have some good subs for these two positions and um, that that could be a problem but later i will show you some players that should be able to sign on the right side we have two options that's johnny as a wing back or uh, that's semedo semedo is also a very interesting player very fast maybe i would choose semedo but at the beginning of the season he's injured so uh, this is why i choose johnny in real life johnny is playing more than semedo that's for sure on the left side we don't have some great players but we have okay a uh, young french wing back uh, that's ryan nori uh, he has some nice crossing dribbling for such a young player nice technique not bad speed yeah so he's okay just fine in front of them pair of cms actually we have portuguese guys that Portuguese guys, that's Moutinho, who is going to play as deep line playmaker, support duty, someone who is going to connect your defense with attack. That's Ruben Emers in real life, scoring a lot of goals. Yeah, fantastic player. He's going to play as CM support duty. And in front of them, that's uh, Matthäus Nunes, he's 23. Uh, he can play uh, as a tacky mid or he can play as a ball into box to box mid. But somehow I, I'm going to use him like in real life. He's going to play as a tacky mid Then, right side. We have so many options for this side. But simply when I see this kind of speed, acceleration, 20 pace, 20. This is Formula One player. That's Adam Atraore. And this is the main reason why I'm going to use him on the right side as a winger attacking duty. I mean, for this uh, role, you can use uh, Podens, you can use uh, Guedesh, but uh, also there is Neto who can play there as inverter winger. I mean, we have a couple of options. Pedro Neto is, of course, one of the better players. I like him, he's 22, but somehow I'm still going to use Traore on the right side. Left side, like in real life, uh, maybe the best option, if you ask me, that's Daniel Podens. Uh, as an inverter winger attacking duty, a uh, really fantastic dribbling first touch technique speed has all the qualities yeah okay and as a striker ha, i have a couple of options but i decide to use gonzalo guedes another portuguese with this speed uh, i think that uh, with this technical attributes he can be okay advanced forward and this is why i decide to use him as advanced forward i mean Depends. In some games, maybe it's not a bad idea to use, to use uh, Sasha Kalajic. Sasha Kalajic is totally different type of striker. Check him. Fantastic in the air, very strong. Uh, maybe if you're going to use uh, wingers. Uh, so then, and if you need some strong striker who is going to hold the ball, that's Sasha Kalajic. In real life, uh, Diego Costa is playing the most of games. Uh, he's okay also, some superb mental attributes, but he's 33 years old, so I don't know, you have a couple of options. I also should not forget about Raul Jimenez, uh, Mexican striker. So for this position, we have a couple of options, depends on the games and depends on the tactic that you are going to use. When we are speaking about team leaders, we see that there are three team leaders, that's João Moutinho, Neves and Jimenez. So for now, you should not worry, especially because you have like five players with a high influence. So uh, these guys are going to be your new team leaders. We can see that the best player of Wolves actually with four stars is Gonzalo Guedes, this Portuguese winger. I mean, Portuguese. <laughs> And that's that's something new for Wolves, yeah, for sure. We see some awesome speed. As I said, I'm going to use him as advanced as forward. I mean, he can play whatever you want. He can play as a winger, he can play as a shadow striker, attack and midfielder. I don't know. Depends if you find some better striker than use him as attack and midfielder. That's my opinion. Okay, then we have Mateus Nunez, also a very young player, Portuguese also, a fantastic team player, great stamina, natural fitness, nice technical attributes. Yeah, uh, then we have Adam Atrore, Formula One, uh, acceleration 20, pace 20. Yeah, this is why he's in the first team. Uh, then we have wing back Johnny, he's 28, uh, some nice mental attributes. Okay, Ruben Neves in real life, scoring many goals. Yeah, very good player. 
Uh, then we have Nelson Semedo, he's injured at the beginning of season, but quality wing back, yeah. Okay, Raul Jimenez is there, striker, João Moutinho, Daniel Podens. So, uh, this is uh, actually, these players are the best players. But let's see, we have some young players with a high potential. One of them, of course, Fabio Silva. But he's alone at Anderlecht, so uh, at least for this season, uh, you won't use him. Uh, then we have one guy who is alone from Mads, but we won't count him. Ah, we came to Nathan Collins. What to say about this young Irish central defender? Very brave, that's good. Uh, not bad speed, good in the air. But technical attributes are poor. I mean, technique is learned, but the other attributes still can grow. That's good. Still can grow. We see a potential almost five stars. So, uh, yeah, he should be in the first team, that's for sure. Then we have French wing back Ryan, also not bad potential, yeah, five stars. Uh, Mosquera, Colombian ball playing defender. Uh, he's, he doesn't have great attributes, he's 21, his potential is really weak. Sell him, that's my opinion, you need to sell him. Okay, and then Ryan, uh, who is alone at Middlesbrough, uh, not bad potential, nice speed. I mean, three stars, ah, maybe he won't reach, uh, maybe he won't be that good player, we will see. Okay, uh, we have Chiquinho, he's, uh, he's another good winger, another Portuguese, superb speed, dribbling technique, interesting player, flair, unpredictable. And Mateus Nunes, uh, 23, we spoke about him, still didn't get full potential, he's going to improve, he's 23, but still going to improve a bit, not too much. Okay, now let's see under 21 squad, uh, there do we have some interesting players, uh, maybe this uh, South Korean pressing forward some nice speed mental attributes perfect for 20 years old but we see that his potential is four stars yeah and leonardo campania ecuadorian striker target forward um we have also luke english player english winger but all these guys don't have five stars so i don't know okay now let's say under 18 squad there actually we don't have any interesting kids mason reese but 16 years old I don't see some potential. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's I mean that's not okay. Yeah. When we are speaking about finances, we see that Wolverhampton has big problems. Transfer budget around four million. This is nothing, and we really need one central defender. So, uh, this is my short list, guys. Uh, I, I'm searching some cheap players, some cheap central defenders, but still uh, they have some nice quality, like Axel Tuanzebe, English ball playing defender. Uh, he's playing for Manchester and his price between 2 and 4 million, so you can afford him. Plus, superb speed, I like fast central defenders, not bad technical attributes, nice mental attributes, yeah. And he's 24, he's not a tall player, yeah. Would be a really good signing if you're asking me, especially because we don't have some good central defenders. Then, free agent, that's Nikola Maksimovic, solid backup, great in the air, not bad speed, yeah. He's 30 years old, but he's a free agent and we don't have money. Okay, then uh, Bubaka Sane, 27, Gambian central defender. Superb in the air, great natural fitness. Uh, not bad mental attributes, at least for central defender. Mm, this is the worst option, but still a free agent, yeah. Uh, then Kevin Akpoguma, Nigerian central defender. Can play as a wing back and cover most of positions in defense. This is good. Uh, extremely fast, great in the air. Simply, I really like this kind of central. Plus, not bad technical attributes. Yeah. And price, the best thing between 4 and 8 million, so you can afford him. Uh, last on my list, and a uh, really interesting uh, young central defender, it's Andrea Papetti. One is sure he's going to improve. That's for sure. We see some great natural fitness, nice speed. Actually, all the physical attributes are good. Uh, we see great determination. Scout report is saying that he's extremely interested. Uh, he wants to sell it between 1 and 1.5 million.